Hey everybody, John Ellis with Uphill Media, and I want to talk about some of the gear that I mentioned in a previous video about how to stream the revolution from your phone or whenever you're out, whatever gear you have. Uh, this is the iRig Pre. This is one of the pieces that I mentioned, and this will connect to your phone and lets you use an XLR cable, which means a quality microphone, into your, into your phone. Uh, and that's going to improve things greatly when you're out trying to capture a rally or at an event with, with a lot of people or there's noise. It's, it's tiny. This is it. It takes a 9-volt battery. It's called the iRig Pre. It has a headphone jack that is not direct monitor, meaning you're only going to hear conversation from the other end. You're not going to hear what's coming in from your microphone. There's, there's models that are more expensive that will do direct monitor, but it's really unnecessary for what you're doing. The, the key to this little device is that it has an XLR port, and it has a battery so that you can do line level power and you can do phantom power, 48 volt phantom power, which means you can plug in a condenser, a shotgun condenser. If you're really far away and there's a whole bunch of people at the rally and you can't hear the person with your phone, you know, you've seen those video, videos, the streams where you're like, well, it's a stream, but you can barely hear who's talking. A shotgun microphone will aim and pick up that sound from far away, but it needs power, and this will provide that and bring that sound into your phone. I, I did a couple short videos. One uh, you'll hear is just my phone recording me without the iRig Pre and a microphone, and the other one is me going through this Samsung Q6, which is just a, a Shure SM57 knockoff with an on-off switch. Shure makes a model called the SM48. It's about 40 bucks. Uh, there's a lot of other variants of microphones. A handheld dynamic microphone is what you're going to want to use if you're doing announcing or you're in the field, you're doing re reporter work. I talk more about that in the second video. So take a look at that uh, and, and, uh, and we'll come back and we'll talk about some other things. So this is the quality of the uh, microphone on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, just as is. As you can hear a lot of other sound around me. I've got fans and stuff going on in the other room, all the computer gear behind me. Now I'm going to connect the uh, iRig Pre and a microphone on an XLR cable, and you're going to hear the difference. Okay, and now here's the audio through a microphone running through an XLR cable and the iRig Pre. The iRig Pre is plugged into the headphone jack of my phone, and that provides power, just line level power for this microphone, and it can also provide 48 volt phantom power to a condenser microphone, which lets you plug in a condenser shotgun mic. If you're at a rally or a big event, and you, you're trying to get uh, pick up sound from a, a, a person speaking at a podium or far away, but the iRig Pre also lets you take a signal directly from a soundboard and an event through an XLR cable. You just plug it right into the iRig Pre. Now, it runs on a nine volt battery, so you're not gonna get tons of time out of the condenser portion of it, right, uh, powering the 48 volt phantom power, but plenty for an event, several events. Uh, you're going to be changing out 9 volt batteries depending on how much you're using it. It's, it's only 40 bucks and it allows your phone to use quality audio and for any live stream event in video, audio is the most important factor. If you don't have good audio, people aren't going to want to watch and they're just going to be gone. So, uh, it, you know, you have a crappy picture or the, the, the picture is what it can be because of the internet connection. As long as the audio is good, then you're, you're doing okay with your content. So this is the difference between an iRig Pre in terms of the quality and uh, the regular phone audio or microphone. Now, the problem with this setup is that it's very difficult to manage this by yourself. If you're gonna use an iRig Pre, have a microphone, that means you've got a cable, you've got headphones to deal with, you've got the Pre, you've got your phone on a stand. This is why I recommend working in two people teams. One person is the camera person and they're handling the cable and the iRig Pre and everything and there's a way to tape things together and package it up onto your stand or whatever you're using to hold your phone. And the other person is just the person in front of the camera with the microphone talking about what's going on or conducting interviews. If you're going through a Google Hangout that's being broadcast on air or, or any of a Zoom conference is broadcast on air, then you can talk to other people in the conversation. You can be heard on the, on the earphones. So this is what makes the iRig Pre so essential for uh, the, the revolution in independent media, is that it's a very inexpensive way to turn your phone into a quality interview and uh, a rally streaming device, as long as you have good network connectivity. If you don't, 
Then you've got to find another solution, and that involves bonding units, and that's a whole other realm of technology. So anyway, iRig Pre, microphone, XLR cable uh, into your smartphone, and you've got a, a, a much better audio on a streaming device. Okay, did you hear the difference? Pretty huge. Now, there's a few things. It's touchy. It's not pro gear, so it's not rugged, and it's 40 bucks, so be careful with it. And you're gonna wanna get some kind of a, a holder for your phone. We, uh, this is the iClip. They bundled this with the uh, iRig Pre. Here's the box right here. Um, there, iClip grip. It definitely will hold your phone. It works better as a, as a, just a monopod, somebody to hold it. And this is why I suggest having a, a two people teams do this if you're out in the field, one person being the reporter standing in front of the camera with the microphone and, and, and the other person uh, holding this. This does not work as a tripod. It's supposed to, okay, but it's absolutely useless. The minute you put your phone on it, it just falls over. It's, it's not good. You have to weight it down with bags. So, um, Maybe look for other options, but this you're definitely gonna need something like this because you're gonna need to strap the eye rig to it and a battery pack for your phone because there's no way that your phone is gonna last through a rally or an event just with the battery that it has, right? And then you're gonna have that XLR cable, right? So you're gonna have a bunch of things. You're building a little rig here, but all of this would fit like a, a, a reusable grocery sack, right? Or or whatever you got a backpack. It's stuff that you can just hold together it's a very small unit two-person team can be out there reporting independent media and uh sounding good while you're doing it so irig pre a cable and a microphone